one deep diggy dad Across the woods I scan With my metal detector and my pointer I search for gold deep below the earth When it's found I replace the turd I mostly find what I'm looking for Oh yes I do Deep Digger done. Come on, get in. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating how to metal detect with a stick. You don't need to buy expensive metal detectors to find metal. All you need is a stick. Now the stick has to come off a tree and obviously not off a shrub or a bush because that obviously would not work. I shall now demonstrate how to metal detect with a stick. All you have to do is twiddle the stick like so and when you find metal or when the stick finds metal it will snap and that will show you where the metal is. Let's go metal detecting. As you can see, my stick has snapped. Therefore, where the snapped part is pointing, straight down here, is where there is going to be some metal. Let's dig and see what we've got. Oh, and obviously, because it is a short piece of wood which has snapped off, it means it's going to be something good, high in non-ferrous. If it had been a ferrous item, it would snap much further on. The fact the end has just fallen off tells me this is something special. Let's have a look. Get in! Absolutely beautiful. Just like yesterday, the first thing I've dug today is a, a lead horse. A soldier on a horse, knight on a horse, whatever. His head's missing. It usually is. Apart from that, it's completely intact, which is amazing because these legs are so thin and fragile. But beautiful. So happy with that. Come on! As you can see, the stick method definitely works. Give it a try yourself. If you can't find the necessary sticks, you can purchase them from myself. I will sell you 10 sticks for the price of 4 99 excluding postage and packaging. I am now going to start metal detecting with my metal detector as I have purchased one and it cost a lot of money. Well, I don't know without one. It might be out of an old pocket watch or something. I don't know. A lead bag seal. I'm guessing, you know, i found about 30 of these now. I'm guessing lead bag seals is to do with trading, buying things. Um, I'm presuming this area was used for trading. But I need to research lead bag seals and see exactly what they are. But yes, a lead bag seal. And there's another one for you. In the shape of a leaf. It's got a little hooky bit at the top, as you can see. Um, I don't think there's any writing on it or anything. So I'll probably never know what that was. Whee -he -he! Right, the last time I found a chain, I thought it was a really special, cool chain. It turned out to be a toilet chain, so I'm not going to get too excited. Um, this is very heavy. It's clearly not made out of gold or silver, I don't think, but it is a chain. What it's used for, I don't know. I'd say it's just a normal household chain, but it's it's in a nice uh, loop thing, so who knows. I like it. And that thing at the end, what's that all about? Looks like an earring. Would you want that dangling from your ear? Nah. But nice, happy with that, come on! Well I have no idea what that is. It's heavy, so I thought it was made out of lead. 
It might be, I don't know. But I thought it was like a, what, you put snuff in? I, I really don't know. We'll clean it up and have a look, but it seems to have some kind of top on it. It might just be a handle or something, I really don't know. We'll see. Look at that! Now, I don't know what it is. It's got a hoop thing on the back with a little uh, prong sticking out of it. I don't know. It's obviously jewellery. Maybe a brooch, but I don't know. But look at it. Look at the stone in that. Now, if that stone turns out to be rare and real, this is my last ever metal detecting video. I'm off. Barbados tomorrow. Look at it. Beautiful. God, I love coming here. I'm so, so lucky to have areas where there's such lovely things. Beautiful. And here's the back of another belt plate, belt buckle. The front, very ornate again, it just needs a really good clean. God, you're going to have a good round up tonight. Beautiful! What a great day! Well, I've no idea what we've got there. I thought it was jewellery because it's glass in the middle, but it's literally plastic glass or something. It's not... It's not like a decorative jewel, I don't think. But it looks like, I don't know, a ship's wheel, if you like. Let's clean it up and have a look later. A coin, 10 pfennig from 19... I can't remember. Something like 1910, something like that. Right, this is the best part of metal detecting, and you'll all agree with me if you metal detect. Having something in your hand, you can see the outline, You've, you know it's something pretty special. Um, I think it's a buckle. Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, a buckle. Admittedly a plain one. <laughs> Which isn't like me, but a buckle, a nice buckle, a big buckle. I like it. Get metal detecting, I'm telling you, it's the best hobby in the world. A complete tablespoon. I can't believe it. A complete one. Not an handle, not a ladle. A complete one. Alright, it's got holes in the bottom of it, so it's no good for sugar or anything, but put, you can put something, you know, like mushy peas or something on top of there. That won't go through the hole. Yeah, I might use that when I get home. Nice. A racing pigeon identification tag from 1963 and it's local. If I had a racing pigeon, I'd make mine out of gold, not aluminium. I'd have it gold and little, little diamonds encrusted in it. Okay, we have a lead knight on a soldier. And I say knight because that is definitely what it is. He's in armour and he's got a big... Uh, Ooh, speary type thing in his hand. Beautiful. And that is a big one, and a heavy one. They're not usually that big for me. But yes, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful! Well, I found one of these before. It's an old uh, school protractor. Protractor stroke ruler type thing. Excellent! Okay, I'm going to end with that. A lead bag seal. It's made out of lead. It seals things, especially bags. Right, I'm going home. So I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Deep Digger Dan, come on, get in.